Dear future Brandon, when you forget how to do obstacles, let me show you how. All right, so in the big tree here of robot stuff, we're going to have to go down to fixtures, you know, obstacles. And we're going to go down to add obstacle single CAD file. You can also do other sorts of things here, but usually it's single CAD file. So we're going to go grab this vending machine that I've made previously. And normally when this loads in, uh, it takes a while because what it does is it saves a local copy in a different format to the folder you're working in. Uh, so usually it isn't this, this quick. But since I've loaded this before, this time it is. Now, RoboGuide likes to put things like 3,000 millimeters in the air, which I get it. You don't want to put things on the main floor, but in this case I do. I'm going to drop that right there on the floor. It also put it a thousand over and a thousand over the other direction. So I'm going to hit apply here. So now it's right there on top of my robot. In some cases where I export from like SolidWorks, the scale is in meters and not millimeters. So usually I just do like one, two, three zeros there. So it's a thousand and then a thousand here and a thousand there. Not the case here. I exported this from Fusion. So that's good. We can hit apply. We can hit this to color it. We'll make this guy orange and we'll hit yeah and hit apply. It also has a cool wireframe function. That's pretty neat. Uh, has a transparency function too. Also pretty cool. I've used those for a few different things, but not too important right now. So what we want to do is we want to move this guy. Let's twist him so he's facing the robot more or less. And we'll just twist that around that axis. Grab the X here. Move him backwards, grab this one, and then we'll rotate this around. Now, the robot is in the middle of my fixture, and I can't grab that little green ball. So what I want to do is I can zoom way out. The little green ball stays the same size relative to the world, not everything around it. So if I zoom back in, I still have that little green ball, and I can move the robot out. Just that easy. Now, if I wanted to... I could uh, just grab the joint tool up here and move the joints individually to get that robot back to a spot where I want it. So say I want to have this robot come and say touch the button on the front of this um, vending machine. I can drag him this way, drag him up to say a button pretty close here. Uh, but say I don't want to actually have the robot touch the machine. In this case, I am. I've touched it right there. So what I want to do to kind of show myself that I've touched the machine, I want to double click the machine and then I want to say uh, show robot collisions. If I hit apply, it's not going to show it to me yet. I got to click on the robot itself. I have to say show robot collisions here as well. And if I hit apply, then everything that's touching the robot will now light up to show collisions. So if I go back to this guy and turn that back off, then he turns off. But now everything else touching the robot is shown. You can also have a few more options to say I don't want this thing as bright if it gets hit. And I can hit apply so it lights up just a little bit, but not as much. So if I drag this robot back off the machine, it, it, it turns off, turns on, turns off, and so forth. So that's how you do collision detection on these robots. Now you can also see that right here, the robot doesn't quite light up when the end of our tool touches it until I drag the robot in. And the robot itself lights up. You can also have the end of arm tool do the same thing. If you click on double click on that guy, you can have the show robot collisions there. Oops, didn't mean to drag that. Uh, okay, let's just, just put that back. Okay, apply. What I want to do is click on the ball. Okay, there we are. So the the stick lights up. You can see that's really yellow now versus its standard orange when I pull it back out. So that's obstacles and uh, obstacle collision detection for, for robots. Goodbye. Okay,